Are you coming off the clouds yet? Yes. What do you see down there below you? Like a station. Mm -hmm. A station. Describe the station. Like a military station. A military station. Mm -hmm. Look down at your feet and tell me. Do you feel that you can see anything there now? What do you have on your feet? A uniform. A uniform. Mm -hmm. Describe that uniform for me. What does it look like? Brown. Brown. Mm -hmm. With blue. With blue. Mm -hmm. Where is the blue? I'm not sure. Mm. What else do you see? My boots. Your boots. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything in your hands? A weapon. A weapon. What kind of a weapon do you have? What does it look like? It's like a different gun. A different gun? Mm hmm What does it look like? It's long. Mm hmm Like a shotgun. Mm hmm A shotgun? What's it made out of? Mm, it's like a plastic material. Mm -hmm. Plastic. What else is interesting about this gun? It feels like it has electricity. It has electricity? Mm hmm and how do you control this weapon? How do you fire it? You shock people. You shock people? Mm -hmm. Do you do anything physically to shock them or do you use your mental abilities to shoot this? Mm -hmm. You just shock them. Mm -hmm. You just shock them? Mm -hmm. So look around you. You say you're in this military base. What does it look like? I'm not in planet Earth. Mm, you're not on planet Earth. Mm -hmm. Where are you? Do you know the name of the planet? Trust your first impression, what comes to your mind. Mars. Mars? Mm -hmm. Tell me more. There's a sign on the floor. There's a sign on the floor? Mm -hmm. What does it say? It's like a frog or something. A frog? Yeah. Mm hmm What does that frog sign mean? The shield. A shield? Tell me about that. It's what represents us. It's what represents you? Mm. Mm hmm Take a look at your body. Is it a humanoid body? No. What does it look like? 
A reptile. A reptile. Okay. So describe your features for, for me. What do your hands look like? Like a reptile. Mm -hmm. How many fingers do you have? Four. Four. Mm -hmm. Do you have a thumb? Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's a thumb and three fingers? Five fingers. Oh, five fingers. Okay. And what's the texture of your hands look like? Long. Long? Mm. My fingers are joined. They're joined? Mm-hmm. Are they like webbed? No. No? Tell me what that means by joined. I could open it to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. You know, it looks different. It looks different. Does it have any nails on it? Everyone looks different. Everyone looks different? Every one of your uh, fingers? People. Oh, people. But what do you look like? Reptile. Mm -hmm. What does your face look like? A lizard. A what? A lizard? Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. What color are you? Green. Green. Mm -hmm. What do the other people look like around you? Animals. Mm -hmm. Animals. What else? Feeling sad. You're feeling sad? What's happening with you? I have to go. You have to go? Where are you going? On a mission. On a mission. Mm -hmm. What kind of mission are you going on? Planet Earth. Planet Earth. Why have you, why are you going on this mission? To help. To help? I don't want to go. You don't want to go? Why? Yeah. My family. Your family? You have to leave your family? Yes. Tell me about that. Tell me about your family. I don't see them. I know they're there. Mm -hmm. So let's go to see your family. I want you to leave this scene now and go to the place where you live with your family. Drift and float to that scene and be there now. Tell me where you are. It's Andreina. Under where? Andreina. Andreina. Mm -hmm. She has the kids. She has the kids. Mm -hmm. What does Andreina look like? Does she look like you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Describe her. She doesn't look. She doesn't look like you? Is she reptilian too? No. How does she look? Human. She looks human.
Are you still on Mars? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Let's take you back to Mars. Close the scene. We're going to go back to the point in your life on Mars that they were telling you about your mission. Go back in time. Be there now when someone is discussing the mission with you. I have to fight. You have to fight? Mm hmm Why? I'm a warrior. You're a warrior. Mm hmm Who are you fighting against? Look around you. I just need to help. Mm -hmm. You need to help? <clears throat> Tell me a little bit about your job there as a warrior. What are you responsible for? Lead. To lead? Mm -hmm. Help others. Mm -hmm. I'm in charge of a mission. You're in charge of a mission. And what is this mission? What does it entail? To open people's eyes. To open people's eyes? In what way? To wake them up. Wake them up? In what way? Love. With love? How do you do that as a warrior? To control my emotions. Mm. What would happen if you don't control your emotions? They'll control me. Oh, who are they? Sadness. Fear. Mm -hmm. Anger. I have to control my anger. Mm -hmm. What happens if you don't control your anger? I lose things. What kind of things? People. People. So you explained to me that you are on Mars and you have this weapon, correct? Yes. And who is it that you use this weapon against? To restrict others. To restrict others? Yes. Who are the others? Other resilient. Ah. Uh. Are they different from you? No. I'm different from them. Oh, you're different from them. Are they also... Um, do they also work with you in the military? Yes. Mm -hmm. So are you defending yourself from others? I'm defending others from them. Oh, okay. And who are the others that would attack them? I feel like it's my own people. Mm. So let's let's find out what's going on with your people that you do need, need to defend. I want you to go back in time. Go back in time in that same lifetime where we get the story of what's going on with your people and the rebellion. Be there now. They don't like to help. 
They don't like the hell. They're selfish. Mm -hmm. Judge people. They judge people. I don't want planet Earth. You don't want planet Earth? To go through the same. To go through the same. Mm. And how are you related to planet Earth? I am not. I just want to help. Oh, you do? Okay. Are you more advanced than those on planet Earth? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. In what way? Psychic. You're psychic. Mm -hmm. I can hear. You can hear? And feel. And feel. And make others feel. And make others feel. What do you make them feel? Love, emotions. Mm -hmm. So have you chosen yourself to go on this mission to Earth, or has somebody else chosen you? My duty. It's your duty. <sighs> I have to. Tell me what you're feeling. The way. It's for the past. Are you alone or others that are doing this with you? Others. Mm -hmm. Do they all feel the same way as you? Yes. Mm -hmm. How many of you are there? About 300. Mm -hmm. We're hiding. You're hiding? Yes. Where do you hide? We communicate telepathically. Mm -hmm. And chat. You chat with people telepathically? Yes. Mm -hmm. And how do you how do you determine who you pick to go and talk to? Their frequency. Mm hmm just turn to it. You tune to it. Mm -hmm. And when you tune into someone, what do you tell them? What I feel. Mm -hmm. I feel my emotions. Are you able to change the way they think? I can't. Could only influence. Mm -hmm. That's a choice. Well, humans have free will. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when you select someone to help, when do you connect with them in order to get that agreement? Spiritually. Mm -hmm. Do you do it while they're sleeping? Yes. Mm -hmm. Before. Before? It was done before.
So how do you go to planet Earth? Incarnate. You incarnate. Do you remember who you are when you incarnate? I'm a baby. Mm-hmm. Do I have permission to ask questions today? Yes. Thank you. I know that you can have shown him many different lifetimes for him to see today. Why did you choose to show him the one of the reptilian in Mars? So he could see where he comes from. Mm -hmm. Tell him where he comes from. Mars. He's from Mars. Mm -hmm. And what was he doing in Mars? We weren't able to get the good story of it. What was he there? He's in the military. He's in the military. Mm -hmm. What year was that? In the future. In the future. Okay. So has Daniel lived in the future and come back? To Earth, to the past? Yes. Okay. I understand that. So what, what, how many years into the future? 30. 30 years? Mm -hmm. And what is it that's happening now on Earth that requires for him to be here? He's a lot of great assistance to people. Mm-hmm. His energy is positive, mm -hmm. and he needs to make sure to keep it that way. Mm -hmm. Now, when we were speaking with him, it seems that he didn't want to do this. Why? He was confused. Mm -hmm. Can you tell him why? He doubts himself, mm -hmm. his ability. What are his abilities? Music. Mm -hmm. One question. Has he ever lived in another lifetime? No. No? So he's always been this reptilian? Yes. Okay. So where did he get his musical abilities from? His father. His father. So through the DNA, yes. he got it. Okay. In as a life as a reptilian, did he have a name? Jason. Jason. Mm -hmm. So, what was Jason's actual purpose for coming here besides waking people up? To learn how to love. Mm hmm. Is he, is he, is he learning? Yes, very much. Mm -hmm. Well, he wants to know how he can use everything that he has been learning already. He's using it already. Mm -hmm. How can he help others more? Be more open. More open. Less judging. Mm -hmm. Is he judging people? Not as much. Mm -hmm. What would you like to say, tell him about that? Accept. Accept others? Yes. Mm -hmm. Everything. Okay. And how can he raise his energy better and maintain the level? Eating. Eating? Better. Okay. Because he had a question about that. How can he eat better? Because he says that he doesn't even want to eat food anymore. He's just eating li or drinking liquids. He has to set the intention. Okay. For food to be good. Mm -hmm. He's already eating better. 
but as they said, the intention before. Mm -hmm. Before he even thinks of eating? Before eating. Mm -hmm. Will that help him with his choices of food? And energy. And energy, okay. Because he says he needs to be doing so many different things. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this will help him. Let yes. me ask you something. As Because he has been here, this is his first lifetime here on Earth. What did, uh, what did Jason, the reptilian, eat? Plants, vegetables. Mm -hmm. They have that on Mars? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is it the same Mars that we know? No. It's a different dimension. Ah, uh, okay. So in the Mars that he came from, was it very populated? Yes. Was it like Earth? Not as many people. Oh, okay. And were they all reptilian there? The majority. The majority. Okay. Now I've heard that that there was a Mars that was destroyed and that the inhabitants came to this Earth. Is this a different dimension, Mars? Yes. Okay. And were those reptilians the same? Yes. Okay. So now the ones that are on a different dimension are, are helping the Earth? Yes. Okay. He said that there was about 300 of them. Is that true? Or are there more? That's true. Okay. So are they all inhabiting the Earth now as humans? Majority. Okay. Are they helping the world to wake up? Very much. Okay. Are there any of those that he knew in his as his as the soldiers that worked with him that are now in his lifetime? Yes. Mm hmm Anybody in particular that you can name? Daniel. Danny? Daniel. Mm hmm Daniel the boy? No. His friend. Oh, his friend Daniel. Okay, so Daniel was one of one of his uh, the people that helped him. Mm. Okay, that awakened him also. That was his mission. That was his mission to help awaken this Daniel. Yes. Okay. Good. Can you tell me about why he chose his family? To learn. Mm -hmm. Music. To learn music. What was the reason that music was so important? to him in this lifetime. It expresses love. Okay. So he selected a, a father with a strong DNA? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. His country is going through a lot of turmoil. How can he help Venezuela? Accept his own people. Mm -hmm. They have to raise their own vibration through love. And how can he do that? Be an example. Be an example. Mm -hmm. Gather others. That could do the same. Mm -hmm. And that will help the country. Now we'll open our mind. Okay. Is there any action that he needs to take? Facebook. His book? Facebook. Oh, Facebook. Okay. So being an example um, on Facebook and being able to reach so many people in his country will, will open them up. Videos. In videos. Okay. Good. Anything else? Yes. What else? Bring more light through concentration. Set your intentions in the morning. Be 
be happy. Everything is well. Good. Good. He has uh, congas that he plays. And it seems to have a female energy. Is this true? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you tell him about about this female energy? He needs to learn how to disassociate from it. Mm -hmm. Why is that? So it doesn't take over him. Mm -hmm. Is this an energy that came with the drums or did he create it? He's learning how to use it. He's learning how to use it. Are the, is this the energy of the drums? Is this a consciousness that it has? No. To, what is it? that it, is it something that's attached to the drums? To him. To him. Okay. And where did it come from? Higher realms. Higher realms. Is this something that is a positive or negative? Positive. Positive. Would you allow me to connect with the energy today so we could speak with him? He's not ready. For He's it. not ready. Okay. What would the energy like to convey to him at this time? To practice mm -hmm. this connection. To practice this connection? Yes. Mm -hmm. Does he understand that? What that means? Yes. Okay, good. So he can continue to call them the blue babies? Mm -hmm. Yes. She likes that? Very much. Okay, wonderful. He has a, a mentor, Giovanni, that he connects with in the other realm. He wants to help him. Why is he in his life? Have they known each other before? He's an angel. He's an angel. Tell him about that. He's a god of music. Mm -hmm. He's able to show others the way mm -hmm. by him being the way. Mm -hmm. He needs to love. He needs to love. He needs to love. He needs to love. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when Daniel sleeps at night and they connect, is he teaching him from there? Yes. Mm -hmm. How can he connect with him physically? Call him. Call him. Just like that. Has he done it before? No. Mm -hmm. Well, he tells me that Giovanni is ill. That his health is failing him rapidly. Is there anything that he can help him with on that? Call. To call him? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is he lacking love? Oh, love. His own love. Okay. So will Daniel be able to help him? Very okay. much. Okay. Is there anything that we can do today to help him with that healing to start off? Can we send him some light and love today? Yes. Okay. Is there anything that Daniel needs to do? Or can you do that from your realm? I could help him. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. He also has questions on his career. He's doing a lot of things. His music, his business, personal development. He wants to know what areas he should focus on. Better acting. Better acting? Yes. Mm -hmm. In what capacity? His body. Mm -hmm. Language. So the way he presents himself? Yes. Okay. Is there any of these areas that he should not be focusing on? Confidence. Mm. 
He needs to focus on confidence also. No. Don't focus on confidence? He already has it. Okay. Okay. He just has to believe that he does. Okay. But he says he's very busy. He has many different thoughts on the burner. Are there any of these that he should not be doing? He's doing what gives him joy. Okay. So just keep doing what gives him joy. But understand that there's a time and a place for everything. Mm -hmm. To rest, to meditate, to eat, to have his own time. Mm -hmm. So schedule some more me time on his calendar? Yes. Okay. What about finances? He wants to make enough money to help others with his purpose. How can he do that? Work with Tony Robbins. <laughs> Work with Tony Robbins, okay. And he knows how to do that, right? Very much. Wonderful. Would you do a body scan on him? And tell me if there's anything out of place. His emotional body mm -hmm. needs work. His emotional body needs work? Yes. Can you tell him what's going on with that? Don't hold back. Don't hold back emotions? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you help him heal that today? Yes. Thank you. Can you tell me what it is that you're using? One moment. We're using lights and colors to balance the energy. The lights and colors, okay. Any particular color? Orange. Orange. Red. Mm -hmm. Will these colors help him with the root and sacral chakra? Very much. Mm -hmm. Are those the ones that were out of balance? Yes. Okay. He needs to run himself. To run? Yes. Mm -hmm. Will that do something for him special? Ground him. Ground him, okay. In nature. Okay. Let me know when you're done. Read the books and finish them. Read the books and finish them? Is that what you said? Yes. Mm -hmm. He knows which books you're talking about? Yes. Mm -hmm. Four. Four of them? Yes. He says that he wants to stop smoking. What's causing the smoking? Stress. Mm -hmm. Where is that coming from? His throat chakra. Mm -hmm. What caused the blockage there? 
or the imbalance. Communication. Mm-hmm. He needs to believe in his own words. Believe in his own words. Okay. Will that stop him from smoking? Yes. Okay. So we can, can we do some fixing of the throat chakra now? Yes. Mm -hmm. And would you would you work on the addiction and rewiring his brain so that he doesn't need the cigarettes anymore? Yes. Thank you. Are you using any particular color on the throat? Blue. Mm -hmm. Tell me when you're done. Thank you. He wants to know about uh, whether cannabis is helping or hindering. It depends. Mm -hmm. Tell him about that. Just meditate mm -hmm. on it. Just using it too much mm -hmm. is counterproductive. It lowers his energy. Mm -hmm. Should he use it at all? Yes. Mm -hmm. In what circumstances? Meditation. Meditation. Now I've heard that when you use any type of herb or medicine that it, there should be an intention and protection when you use it. Yes. How, how would be, how would be, uh, what would be a good uh, advice for anybody using any of these nature type herbs to, to help them, whether it be mushrooms or uh, ayahuasca or cannabis. What would be best so that you don't bring in anything uninvited? Clothing. Mm -hmm. Colors. Colors. Mm -hmm. White. Light colors. Light colors. To envision them. Yes. Mm -hmm. To wear them. For protection. For protection. To use your intuition. Mm -hmm. To feel love in your imagination. Mm -hmm. To cover yourself. Intention is the most important thing. So the first thing is intention, set an intention as to what it's going to be used for. Yes. And then cover yourself with the white light yes. of protection. Okay. Anything else? Scan your body. Scan your body. Mm -hmm. Or feelings. Mm -hmm. And if you feel something, stick to it. So you scan your body, you find a feeling, and if you find a feeling, stick with it? Yes. Mm -hmm. This would be a positive feeling, I would think, no? No. No? You want to get rid of negative feelings. First. Okay, all right. So if you find a negative feeling, what do you do? You feel it. Enhance it. Enhance it. Mm -hmm. Understand it. Understand it. And then release it. And release it. Good. Is this something that should be done with all emotions? It seems like this is something that's good even if you don't use cannabis or anything else. All the time. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good. He had questions about his sacral chakra. Has that been cleared now? 
Yes. Okay. Daniel is very close to Jesus. How does Jesus help him? Teaches him. Guides. He's an example mm -hmm. of what to do. A blueprint. A blueprint to follow? Yes. Is there anything that Jesus would like to tell him today? Would we be able to connect with him? Yes. Thank you. I'm going to tap his forehead. And when I do, let me speak with Jesus. Good afternoon. Hello, beloved. Hello. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad that you are here. It's what would you like to time. tell us today? It is a great time. Mm -hmm. Tell me. There's a special time in Earth right now. He needs to be a light and continue to be the light. Always, always, always find love on every moment by feeling his heart. We all need to do that mm -hmm. better. We all need to ground ourselves better by feeling our bodies, by feeling our head, by using sound, mm -hmm. healing sound. I will rewire the brain to work on a mouth by level. How do you rewire your brain with sound? Tones. Tones. Mm -hmm. Listen to nature. Meditate. Use crystals. Daniel is using crystals today. Is that helping him? Yes. Mm -hmm. It will ground him. He can feel more connected mm -hmm. to the people and planet Earth. I want to talk to people on planet Earth. What would you like to tell the people of planet Earth? To listen. The time has come to open your eyes, to give yourself the power that you deserve. You all have the power to choose to be in love and happiness. And now is the best time to manifest. So imagine yourself in love and happiness at all times. Be true to yourself. Ground yourself. Just be the best that you can be. Know that within yourself, everything is perfect. You don't have to worry about anything because everything has been provided. And if you listen to your higher self, you'll be guided in the best direction. Don't hold on to your emotions. They don't do any good to you. Just express things the best way possible 
and if you have the right intention things will work listen to your guides for assistance call for your guides for assistance and they will be there with you know that you are love and love is all around all you gotta do is ask and you shall be given that is all thank you very much for those beautiful words when we call upon you or any of the angels or any of those that are ascended how do you hear us crying for help mm -hmm. and it's right next to you all you gotta do is listen use your intuition as a guidance and the rest shall be given to you so just have faith that they're there with you yes Thank you very much. Is there anything else that you would like to tell Daniel at this time to help him on his with his purpose? To transmute fear. He knows. Okay. Is there anything that I can do to be of service? Yes. Teach him. He's open to learn. Okay. Thank you very much. And I'd like to thank Jesus for being here today and for giving us this beautiful message. Thank you so much. Thank you. You are love. Thank you. Now let me speak with the higher self again. Thank you very much for allowing that today. Thank you. Is there anything else that you would like to tell Daniel at this time? I'll see him in his dreams. And how can he connect with you better? Set the intention. Set the intention. Okay. Are we complete today? For now. Okay. Thank you. Wide awake now. Wide awake now, feeling wonderful all over. Welcome back. Wow. How do you feel? Oh, I feel great. Very emotional. I can see uh, like tears right next mm -hmm. to me. You and me. <laughs> you and me both. How long do you feel you were out? Feels like I was out for like five minutes. <laughs> um, I remember pieces of what I saw. Mm-hmm. You were out but a, about an hour and a half. Yeah. It felt quick. I felt like it was just like a transition, like going from one mm -hmm. scene to another. Mm -hmm. Like so a came, movie. Like you came from the future. That's kind of what I felt. Mm -hmm. 
I saw like this, uh, like at the bottom of the, um, like a carrier mm -hmm. that had, carrier. it had, like it was a carrier that had this sign, like it was like a square, mm -hmm. but it was like a green square. You know how the, like the ancient symbols in Mexico, like mm -hmm. those symbols, mm -hmm. it was like the frog. Mm -hmm. version of that symbol okay. that was in plain in, like on the ground so that was kind of like your um getting, getting this out of the light here um it was kind of like your logo or for the yes uh -huh. um and i just kind of like had that image in my mind for some reason and as soon as you saw your wife you and you you recognized her yes mm -hmm. Um, seem you have instant recognition yes I mean she, I, I felt like I wasn't able to get to her like she was just basically waiting for me to leave yeah wow very and, emotional yes and that's probably why I kind of felt that way because I knew that I wasn't coming back mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. how did it feel to be in hypnosis I wasn't sure if it was real. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about this. <laughs> we talked about this. Yes. So I had to like, especially when my higher self came, mm -hmm. I really had to like remove everything. But I knew for certainty that it was my higher self because of the confidence that he had mm -hmm. with everything that he was saying. Um, and uh, initially, it was hard for me to stay awake. Mm. I was falling asleep. Mm -hmm. But I remember what you said about like using your voice and just uh, like making sure that I just pay attention to your voice and yeah. guide me. And that sort of kind of brought me back. Mm -hmm. um, there was a point that I did fall asleep. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's when I kind of like saw the light and then I was sort of seeing the light and as I kind of got to that point everything just faded mm. dark and it was just dark and that's when I realized that I was falling asleep <laughs> that I was already asleep and then was this at the beginning no like towards the, in, the, in the middle part yes when I went through that descending staircase yes mm -hmm. I was putting myself to sleep so <laughs> <laughs> we're both in a trance when I'm when I do these sessions <laughs> so Yes, that's when I kind of like realized that I mm -hmm. that I was falling and um, I held on to your voice again. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on tight. Yes. Now, what about the part with Jesus? That was, that was beautiful. Awesome. I was crying in that part. I feel the love. Mm -hmm. I still feel it. Um, I feel like he's with me all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, as a guide. And that's why I'm able to, like, always being related to it in a way. Mm -hmm. um, when I got to, like, when I got to, like, the Christian church, <clears throat> um, that was, like, the main thing that grabbed my attention. Mm -hmm. And then after I realized that the information that has been given was totally diluted, mm -hmm. that's when I move a different route, but that, consciousness was still there with me mm -hmm. um and then when i found the lord's can and she reassured that this is not like a fiction or mm -hmm. someone that was made up it's a real person that exists now mm -hmm. and he's basically the guidance for us to follow like he's the I remember something that he said, like the blueprint, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's pretty remarkable if you think about it, because it's sort of that way. Mm -hmm. It is. Follow who I am, mm -hmm. or how I I did things. Exactly. And that's what he wants you to do. Exactly. To be an example. Exactly. And and you know they he basically said any time that you're calling out for them they're right there mm -hmm. they're right next to you just listen 
it seems that people are so busy praying and and asking and asking when they're right there talking to you mm -hmm. and you're not listening exactly mm -hmm. how did the crystals help you they ground in me mm -hmm. especially this one mm -hmm. i could already feel the energy wonderful so is this something that you recommend to other people the hypnosis mm -hmm. yes they have to be a, some sort of spiritual incline in a way mm -hmm. because it might be shocking for anybody to put themselves in a situation where they feel and imagine all these things mm -hmm. and there has to be like some sort of preparation prior mm -hmm. um for someone not to be so in shock with what they're gonna encounter mm -hmm. in a way but i'm sure that if they're open to the idea of doing something like that we use our imagination all the time anyways mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we put ourselves already in situations in our imagination um that could be either positive or negative mm -hmm. um kind of like being a reptilian how did that feel looking at yourself as a lizard <laughs> Did it feel normal? It felt like I am already, that it's still something that is part of me because mm -hmm. I'm able to shift mm -hmm. easily. Mm -hmm. Whether it's me doing music or mm -hmm. me working with people or me doing personal training, like I take on these personas mm -hmm. and m adapt myself very easily mm -hmm. to things. So that's a natural thing. Yeah. For me, that was very surprising. Mm -hmm. Didn't even Im imagine that I would see myself that way. <laughs> but um, I there was some feeling. I definitely felt like I was part of uh like a entity of people. Mm -hmm. Um, like I will say the military in a way, but it wasn't so much the military. It was more like protection. Mm. I was trying to, to really find out what it is that you did, and we didn't get to that. Yes. You know, you had this plastic-looking... And that's what it was for. Gun. It was for protection. Yes. Mm -hmm. Not to kill anybody. Mm -hmm. Just to but, zap them into place. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Like slapping them. Exactly. <laughs> um, and I needed to do the same here. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Now, I know that a lot came out during this. Yes. Would you want to share this with others so that they can learn? Definitely the part of Jesus mm -hmm. in my higher self. We can cut out some of the personal parts. Yes. But you had, uh, you know, the part where you see yourself as a reptilian, I think is very uh, moving also. But we can take out the parts that have to do with your personal life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The part definitely yeah. was... How did that feel without talking about it? Okay. Uh, release. Mm -hmm. It was hold it always like there mm -hmm. for some reason. I felt like a lot of the issues that I have with relationships have to do with that. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't have this weight on my shoulder of going back to the past like mm -hmm. even if i try now it's gone it's like if i would never if it wasn't if it never happened mm -hmm. um, good it worked yes um i'm still like settling to that idea of that not being there because sometimes when you it's it's just a habit of doing something mm -hmm. and continuously putting yourself in that position without even trying like you do something so much that mm -hmm. it's already sick in nature so me looking at that memory and not seeing anything there is like it's empty now it's Nothing like to hold on to exactly you so to create your own exactly so it's like it's kind of weird but then it's kind of um, it's kind of uh, exciting thing because you know you don't feel that anymore mm -hmm. so that might definitely be something that i could recommend mm -hmm. well that was Plain old 
hypnotherapy. Yes. <laughs> so yes, in it was in, forgiveness work. Exactly. Yeah, and and forgiveness is really the most powerful thing you could do. Yeah. Thank you. Cool. That was Great. incredible. Let me unplug you and let me say goodbye. So, my name is Alba Wyman, and we are in Miami, Florida. We just did a beautiful session, uh, very emotional. I'm still have a tear on my eye from that. Uh, if you would like to book a session in Miami, Florida with me, just go to albawyman.com. And uh, I look forward to doing more of these and hoping that I will see you. Till the next time. Bye.